Well, this is um, just west of, uh, or east of 280. There's 250 photographs on the avenue right now along six miles from uh, a block west of 280 where uh, St. Paul starts to a block uh, west of the state capitol. Midwest Hotel, they kicked me out of there. My name is Wing Young Huey. I'm a photographer and I've been photographing uh, the cultural landscape uh, in my home state, Minnesota, uh, for the last 30 years. I've been told that Snelling Avenue and University Avenue is the busiest intersection in Minnesota. It's the epicenter of University Avenue. The University Avenue project, um, this will be a six mile exhibition of photographs that I've taken of the people that live, work, go to school, worship, and play in the neighborhoods connected by University Avenue. Diane's in the photograph. Where is your photograph? I'm on page 86. Somewhere. But you're on the avenue somewhere. I'm up at the Green Spirit Community Garden. That's where you found me. But your photograph is on the avenue somewhere. It is somewhere, but I haven't found I it. I can't quite there. remember where it is. This is a, a really large scale project that a small nonprofit organization like Public Art St. Paul can produce something of this magnitude is really incredible. This is our team. This is uh, uh, the core of University Avenue project. He started out in the very beginning thinking this would be a projection. He always wanted a community event to be a part of it. But as we kept talking and talking, sometimes my job is to say, well, projection, what does that really mean? Because if it's like my dad's old slideshows of his trips out west, you know, that's one thing, which was pretty much where Wing was when we started this. I said, you know, but you know, is that really taking advantage of what projection is? This part of the project we've sort of come to call the projection project. Wing wanted to have an opportunity to have someone experience, in a sense, the totality of the project all in one place at one time, and then of course encourage them to walk, take that six mile walk or parts of it along the avenue, but it's kind of a locus. And so part of the conceptual issue was, how do we draw people's attention to this spot? What we did was we uh, built a model that was um, fairly simple, but got the main components together. We start to install uh, the components, which in this case are the shipping containers, in a manner uh, that actually starts to have some presence on the site. The centerpiece of the exhibition will be a um, outdoor nightly projection onto a 40-foot screen that's installed on stacked metal shipping containers. It's, uh, it's about 8.19. I think twilight starts about five minutes. And uh, that's when the show goes on. After doing uh, Lake Street in 2000, which was a big chunk of my life, and uh, wasn't sure uh, whether I would do something like that again, because it takes so much energy and so much money. We had long talks about that, and I said, well, you know, maybe you can lean on somebody else. Uh, you know, we're willing to take a, a, a flyer on this. Let's, let's see what happens. Uh, now, three years later, here we are, and it's a large-scale um, project, uh, even uh, more ambitious than Lake Street, in fact, because there are so many partners involved. And in that talk last week, that's where it came up that we would drop the one essay with the tattoo arm. Yeah. And so we put this one, so go with the chalkboard essay, since we could use any, any of them. Yeah, that makes sense, huh? The Minnesota Historical Society is publishing this work as a two-issue magazine. This is the uh, first issue that we've laid out, magazine number one. We wanted something that would be very accessible, that would really flow from what the exhibit is. Uh, have a street sort of raw presence, sell it for $12. Did you sign these all? They're all signed, I think, yep. University Avenue is, it's a microcosm of what we're becoming. You have one of the most diverse populations. You have communities that have been here for many generations. No matter how you slice up uh, urban living, uh, can be found somewhere on University Avenue. The 
There's nothing to know, there's no one to miss The longer I roam, the colder it gets alone Slowly I grow with the hole in my chest, the size of my head Well, the chalkboard questions, I wanted to ask questions that were ambiguous and open-ended. What are you? How do you think others see you? What don't they see? What advice would you give a stranger? What's your favorite word? Describe an incident that changed you. How have you been affected by race? Running in place, moments of fleeting. A lot of what I do, I'm alone. I mean, I interact with thousands of people, but I'm, I'm an independent artist. And so to be in this collaborative process, um, because you think about all the people who are behind the scenes, and then um, you're really collaborating with everyone that I photographed. It's thousands of people that are involved with this thing, this photography exhibit. So to be co that connected, to that many people uh, for, um, I can't say it's a single purpose, but for uh, something like this uh, is, um, I just feel very fortunate. Part of the process has been the same since I started in Duluth. You know, you walk around, you, you meander, um, I approach people on the street. I tell them I'm a professional artist, photographer, um, doing a community photography exhibit. So uh, a lot of people say yes, a lot of people say no. Once in a while someone will call the police. Growing up in Minnesota, you know, um, people would ask me, you know, where are you from? And I would say, well, I'm from Duluth. People say, no, no, where are you really from? And I said, really, I'm from Duluth. And it's a question, but it implies a lot. It's assumed that I must be a foreigner. I think there are times uh, where my family or myself, uh, we felt that I wasn't a true American, wasn't a true Minnesotan, growing up in the land of Lake Wobegon. But um, the realities of what I am and um, how I'm perceived bumps into the perceptions of what Minnesotans are. On a, on, a, on a regular basis. So for hyphenated people like me, there are hundreds of thousands of people who bump into this, um, the myths of the state. So in a way, what I'm trying to do is create a new iconography. One that fills a gap between uh, the perception of who we are and the reality. Uh, what I do is, is uh, intuitive. I try not to think about it too much. Um, when I'm photographing, I'm just reacting. And I don't think about whether this is good or bad or happy or sad. This is just life. I'm just trying to translate what I see into this language of, of photography. Uh, the meaning of a photograph, I think, is um, changes. I think photographs are, are, are organic. They change as, 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 as the person looking at them changes. You know, I think um, most people think of a photograph as a, as a window. Like this is your window into the world through this photographer's eyes. I think um, they're just as much, if not more, a mirror. Because people only see what their life experiences enable them to see. People see only what they're capable of, see of seeing. People see what they want to see. So I think uh, this photography exhibition is, um, is a mirror. It's a mirror. Uh, that, that shows University Avenue to itself and to the larger world. And it's up to whoever looks at it to decide what it is. Hi, are you familiar with what's, what's, do you know what's going on here? Uh, uh, not, no, I'd like to know. Yeah, yeah. well, um, this is a, a project that I worked on for, for four years in public I think with all the changes that are happening on University Avenue, with light rail coming through, a billion dollars coming through, no one really knows all the full impacts. And so this, is, uh, this could be the last record of what University Avenue was like. So uh, we want this to be a social space. 
did you say every night? For six months. Consecutively. Every single night for six months until the end of October. No kidding. We started on Saturday. Have you had, so oh, you started already, has anyone come here yet who's seen their own images projected on the screen? Oh yeah, we had about 600 people here on, on, on Saturday. Oh wow, so maybe people was like, that's me, whatever. Oh, a lot of people, wow. a lot of people that are in the photographs, So yeah. what did you do, so you had them, you gave them the chalkboard and yep. you said write, what did you tell them to write? Well, uh, I came up with a, a, a series of questions yeah. that I thought would not be easily answered. Mm -hmm. And so the questions are, what are you? Really? How do you think others see you? Right. What don't they see? Right. What advice would you give a stranger? Cool. What's your favorite word? 